G'day, I'm Bruce and today I'm going to be carrying out a repair on a 910 cat loader and taking it for a field test. I'm going to change the heat exchanger on the side of the engine because this one's leaking around, leaking oil around on the seam. I'm just going to do a quick video to start it to show you where the problem is. Our problem, I'll just show you where it is. On this occasion, uh, the thing has corroded through on the outside, and the engine oil is coming out through the outside. But in several other occasions, they can go the other way. Uh, oil and water can mix together if they corrode on the inside and then you've either got oil in the water or water in the oil or both. This engine's been rebuilt and we've always been suspicious about this heat exchanger. We've been watching this thing for a while and we were a bit suspicious about it when the engine re was rebuilt but now we can see that it is leaking oil on the outside so now's the time to change it before it gets worse. We've got the new heat exchanger here and I'll give you a quick demo on how it works. The engine oil comes in here or whatever and it goes around those tubes. If you look inside there, you'll see those tubes. So the oil goes in here, around those tubes, and back out through here. And the idea is, if you look in here, you'll see the tubes, and radiator water, or engine coolant, goes through there, cools the oil, and the water comes out through here. Well, the coolant comes out through here. So it's actually radiator water, or engine coolant, cooling the engine oil. Quite a simple idea. Been, it's an idea that's been around for a long time and quite simple. Is it one of those clamps that's going to try and come apart? No, it might be right. I'm doing a bit more. Looks like we'll probably have to take the probably have to take the oil filter off to um, be able to slide this thing out the way. Got a container down there to catch the, the water and the oil. And maybe a bit more than that one. Yeah, it looks like that one will let go. This one's going to be a bit more difficult. Yeah, it looks like it will come off. Yeah, we're going to have to take the oil filter off just to make room to slide the heat exchanger forward because it's got such a short hose. It's in a pretty tight position there. You can see there's only a short hose here, so probably going to be just, it's just going to be easier to undo the oil filter. If I can get a grip on it. There we are. Take it off out the way now. Make sure we don't get any water in it. <coughs> There. Yeah, we might, uh, might be able to get this hose off out the way now, make it drain out a bit quicker, maybe. Right, the other one undone. Probably should try and undo the radiator cap if I can get at it. Do the hard one first. Put that open. Just 
put that up there out of the way. Get these bolts out of the way so I don't drop them in the dirt. Right out, if I can prise that off of there. Yeah, it looks like it's corroded through from the outside. It looks like right on that lip, somewhere around about there where it's decided to leak. Um, yeah, all dribbling out there. So we'll put it over here. Right, got the bolts, got the bolts cleaned up. We were a bit worried the seals might jump out here, the O-rings, so um, we didn't put grease on them. Otherwise, the next thing they might want to jump out, make the job harder. So overnight, they've been sitting down like that, forcing the O-rings into place. So hopefully they'll stay into place while we bolt the unit up. This one's a bit longer than the other one, and the two metal pipes were hitting together. This one here against the one on the machine, so we just had to grind a bit off the end to try and make it fit. I'll just use a bit of sandpaper just to try and get the end, take the sharp edges off. Otherwise, as I'm trying to assemble it, it might be chewing the inside of the rubber hose up. We're just going to blow it out with some air in case there's any uh, metal filings or anything in there. We actually had to trim a little bit off both ends and it turned out that one end of the cooler was slightly shorter than the other end and the first time around we tackled the wrong end, so the second time around we got the other end that was a bit shorter and that just gave us another eighth of an inch or more to get it together. Actually move that along just a whisker. A little bit shorter on this end now. If I can get that right. Around about there. Rightio. Some washes here. And some stuff. And some rag. We'll fill her up with some water and we'll give her a test in this pile over here. Yep, she's full. Just recheck the oil. See if everything's okay. It doesn't look like it's got any water in it. Yep, up to there. 
right on the foot, just on the full mark pretty well. changes on there. We don't have any water leaks or oil leaks and it's had a test into the pile uh, which is always a bit of fun to jump on something like this and have a bit more of a try and it looks like everything's working well so that's about it for this video and thanks very much for watching.